Hello, you found episode 10 of our Gateway Survivor Series on our Gateway Resources and Support YouTube channel. Today in episode 10, we're actually doing something pretty high level and we're calling it, what's the big picture? We're gonna make connections between ideas to create a solid response. I'm Brooke and today I'm gonna show you how to make some connections to get across the main idea, not just isolated bullets, but how those bullets make an overall message that we're trying to send in our essay. So we're revisiting the science prompt that we annotated and decoded earlier in a different episode, just to kind of look at what is being asked of us to do. So if we're looking at the bullets to remind ourselves again, individually, we could answer these required things. We can identify an organ out. We can describe how it functions in the cell. We can make a prediction about how, what would happen if it stopped functioning. But I don't wanna just think of things individually, where if we cut them into chunks, we could just throw them away. I wanna see how they're all connected. And what big main idea is, are all of these individual body paragraphs trying to get across? What's the purpose of you writing this essay and what are you trying to explain to the reader? So let's just ask ourselves the question, do you get it? Do you understand the big picture or are you still only able to focus on the surface details that each individual body paragraph is trying to convey? So I gave us a graphic organizer to try and help us think what is that big picture for our essay that we're trying to write? So what I did was I went through the prompt and I pulled out some things that we did in those body paragraphs. So one thing we did was we gave an example of an organelle that functioned to transport things and we picked a microtubule. Another thing we did was we used an analogy where we compared an animal cell to a major city like Atlanta. We also had another analogy where we were comparing an organelle to a transporter piece of traffic for Atlanta. And then lastly, we made a prediction. If an organelle fails, it negatively affects the cell, right? So all these pieces kind of play together individually. But what is this big idea? What's the big picture? Do we get what this is? How do these things affect this big idea? And I think what it boils down to is right here how organelle functions impact an animal cell. So that word impact has two ways. It can be a positive impact or it can be a negative impact. So positively, if an organelle is functioning and it helps the cell, pretty much like the roads in Atlanta help people get around, right? But it can also negatively impact the animal cell. If it fails, if it's not doing its job, bad things can happen in the animal cell, just like the traffic incident that happened with the bridge collapse. So what I want you to see is looking at things individually in components is fine, but showing that you're a higher level thinker to that reader is showing them that you get the big idea, you get the big picture. How are all these individual parts connected to this overarching meaning that's going for. So when you're working through your gateway, make sure that you take time before you start writing your rough draft to see and just to see if you answered this big picture question. Did you get it? Or are you just saying individual pieces, right? If you want to use this graphic organizer to help you, great. And remember that all throughout you're using evidence from the text in all of these places, right? To help us get that big picture. Hopefully this was helpful to you and that you'll be able to utilize it on your gateway writing test when you take yours so that you can pass, get that passing score. Go down to the link at the bottom to see other episodes that are being offered to help out with your needs for gateway. Have an awesome day.